Hi friends, this is Joe Zipfel, Regional EdTech Coordinator with the LTC, here today with some useful tips on how you can use color to organize your Google Workspace and to streamline your workflow. Let's start with Google Drive. If you have a lot of files, or if you share a lot of files with others, you know how much of a challenge Google Drive can be to organize. So the key really is folders. Get your files organized into folders to just create a better overall organization. But what you can also do is color code your folders. So adding color to your folders is as simple as right clicking. If you just simply go to a folder, right click and go to change color, you can change that color very simply. Here we are in my Google Drive. I've got lots and lots of folders here uh, and I wanna color code them. So I just simply right click, go to change color and I can change that color to anything. And then I can simply go through one by one, or if I hold the control button down on my keyboard, or command in case of a Mac, I can choose multiple folders, and I can right click and change the color there. And so in that instance, I can change multiple folders to one color. Next, let's take a look at Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, you can use color to organize your classes by changing the banner graphics. So each of your banners for each of your classes or subject areas has a different color. This works for both you as a teacher and for your students as well, because it makes your classes visually identifiable, both for you and for your students. What you can do as a teacher is to color match your banner graphics for each of your classes to the corresponding folder in your Google Drive in the previous tip that I just showed you. So that will certainly streamline your workflow between Google Classroom and Google Drive. For your students who might be juggling seven different Google classes in their Google Classroom, it makes classes very easy to organize and visually different. So again, it's great for your students and you as the teacher. So let's take a look at Google Classroom and let's take a look at these banner graphics. So on screen, what you'll see here is that I have three classes, Algebra, Geography, and Life Science, all with a different colored banner. So in order to customize your banner, you just simply open your class, you click on that customize button up at the top right hand corner of the banner and you can customize with existing photos or you can upload a photo. Now the existing photos that are available are great and they're broken down by subject area and they are uh, various colors so really simple to choose from. If you want to upload your own photo you can do that as well and create your own custom banner for each of your classes and you just simply click on upload photo and you just browse to that folder either in your Google Drive or you can upload from your computer. And there are great templates that are available out there on the internet uh, like Canva for example. Canva is a great graphics editor program uh, uh, app that allows you to, to create great custom graphics and they have Google Classroom banner templates. You also have the opportunity to change the theme color of your, of your Google Classroom environment as well. And so it will auto choose a color that matches or you can choose your own. In this instance, we have pink here for algebra. You can go back to your classes and see that each of your classes is easily identifiable by color, uh, organizing your Google Classroom environment for both you and your students. Let's move on to Gmail. Now, if you've been using Gmail for any length of time, you're probably already using labels to organize and categorize your emails. But you can also add to that organization by color coding those labels. It's very simple. Now, here I am in Gmail and on the sidebar on the left, you can see all of these various labels I already have created that I use to organize my mail. So in order to change the color of one of those labels, you just simply hover over that label, you click on the three dots, and the first option is label color. 
and you can choose a custom color or you can choose an existing color. So I'm going to choose blue here for my 3D printing label. So this just makes your Gmail more efficient and more easily navigatable. And so uh, as a bonus tip that I'm going to provide for you right now, did you know that you can drag a label to an email to assign that email that label? So I have a 3D printing um, email here that I want to label. And so if I just take this top label, I'm just going to click and hold and drag it over. And I'm just going to simply drop on that email and it assigns that email that label. So a nice little bonus tip here within our Gmail tip. Let's talk next about the Chrome browser. Tell me the truth. Are you a tabaholic? Because I am. Do you need help managing all of the tabs that you have open in your Chrome browser? Well, let me introduce you to tab groups. Did you know that you can group tabs together and color code those tabs? This is going to make the management of your open tabs much easier, much more efficient, and you can navigate between those groups and categorize them any way that you wish. So let's take a look at my Chrome browser here. So I have several tabs open. Um, I was a science teacher in a former life, so let me show you how I would group these tabs um, to just make my Chrome browser experience easier. So you can see here um, that I have uh, the Smithsonian tab open here and I have ResearchGate and I have uh, the, the Nature uh, Journal, the, the Scientific Nature Journal. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to right click over an open tab and I'm going to choose Add tab to new group and then I'll be prompted to name the group so I'm going to call this one research and I'm going to assign it a blue color and so uh, I'm good to go there and now I right click over the next tab for research gate and I'm going to add that to the research tab group and next for my journal nature I'm going to right click again add to tab group, and I'm going to choose research. And now I can then collapse that tab back and forth to reveal those tabs. Um, I next have Khan Academy and CK12, and those are both digital uh, curricula. So uh, in that instance, I'm going to right click over Khan Academy. I'm going to create a new tab group, and I'm going to call this one digital text. And I'm going to make that one green. And so now I can add my next tab to that. I'm just going to simply add it to the digital text group and I can collapse that one just like I did the first one. Next I've got my favorite YouTube channel SciShow and Crash Course Biology. I'm going to do the same thing by just simply right clicking, choosing to new, uh, new tab group, and I'm going to choose uh, YouTube as the title. Um, I can again give it that color uh, by just simply choosing. Uh, I'm going to choose orange for this one. And I'm going to add my next tab to that group the same as I did the other two. And so now I have my tab groups color coded easily organized and it's surely going to streamline that tab bar at the top of your Chrome browser and just make it easier and more efficient for you to navigate. Well, I hope you found these tips useful and you'll start using color soon to better organize your Google Workspace. Remember, the LTC has got you covered for all of your ed tech needs. So please check out our website at LTC Illinois or check out our YouTube channel for more great ed tech support and information.